This video shows how to record Photoshop tasks so that you can then automate them and apply them to a bunch of images at once um, and save a lot of time. So first thing I'm going to do is open an image. I'm just going to grab this first one. And then if you don't see the menu, so I have mine hidden right here, the little actions menu. If you don't see that, you can go up to window and actions. That'll open that out for you. So from here, I'm going to create a new folder for this set of actions. So I'm going to give it a name and I would do this for you too, like if you're working on a specific project or however you want to organize it, it's kind of up to you. And then once I have that, I'm going to create a new action. So to do that, I'm going to click this little button down here. And that way, once I get done naming this and I say basically record, it's going to start recording what I'm doing. So you want to make sure you know what task you're doing and you you're kind of ready for it so that you don't input steps you don't need because otherwise it's, I mean, it's still super fast, but there's no sense in putting steps in that don't need to be there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say resize. That's the action that I'm going to create and that's what I'm going to do. The set is the set that I just created and that's what I want. If it's not there, make sure you change that. And then I'm going to say record. Once I do, it'll start recording the actions I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control alt I. And then from there, once I can look at the dimensions, you can see how large this image is. And say I'm planning to use this on the internet or I'm going to upload it to some online storage and I only have so much space or I'm trying to send it as email attachments and um, I'm trying to send a bunch and I don't want to get my email blocked. Because... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this and I'm going to say, uh, I'll say I only want the width to be no more than 750 pixels, okay, of all my images. So then I'm going to say, okay, and that's resize. Notice if you notice in the very bottom left corner, it's really only 16%, so that's not full size, but it is much smaller, easier to work with. And then at that point, um, I'm done. That's all I wanted to do with this, with this particular recording. So you could stop there and if you wanted to, you would just click the stop button and that would stop the recording. You can also apply something else to this if you had a couple of things you wanted to do to the image. So like in this case, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a watermark because that's kind of a neat thing to know how to do. So I'm going to change the size to like 50% and I'm, I, I'm on text box already. So I'm going to insert a text box and I have a pretty, fairly light color already picked and pretty good size um, font, but I think I'm going to make it a little bigger and I'm going to say watermark. And if you had a business, this would probably be like your business name or if it was something you were just sharing with somebody, you might do this. Um, it just depends on what you're using it for. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get, if I can get, there we go, this little, so I can turn the image just like that and then move the box up a little bit so it's a little bit more central, maybe a little less. There we go. And I'm done. That's in essence everything I want to do on this. So I've resized, I've added a watermark, I'm going to stop. Now keep in mind that could have been two separate recorded, two separate little actions because you might, and which probably makes more sense most of the time, you probably would want to apply um, like a resizing to one set of images and you may or may not want the watermark. So having two actions in one recording is probably less efficient in a sense because you often wouldn't want to do that. But if there's something that you always know you're going to do a certain set of actions, then put them all in one and call it something specific enough that you know what it is and then you can use it as much as you want. Once you have it, here's where the beauty comes in. So once you have that, you can go file, automate, batch, and the set is blog example. That should match this over here. So this is the set of actions you've just created. And then the action was resized. That's what I called it. That's correct. My source is a folder. So I'm going to say I want a folder of images to be, um, to have this action applied to the whole entire folder. So then I'm going to say choose and I want blog photos. I'm going to say OK. And then if I had subfolders that I also wanted this apply to, you can do that. You just check that box. I don't have that in this one, but if that, if you have that, it does, it is capable of doing that. And that's a pretty cool feature. Then from here, I just say, okay. And then you watch the magic happen. So what you're actually seeing is the images opening and then being resized. And then they're going to have the watermark applied. So now that they're all done, that's all the images it had. This is what you'd see. Now I'm going to go to every single one. They're all going to be resized. If I click control image, you're going to see no widths past 750 because that's what I set. And you'll also see the watermark. So if I do 50% here, just so you can see the image a little bit better, here we have this image. It's resized. It has the watermark right in the middle and it's all done. And every single one of these, you're going to find the same thing. They're all going to have 
been resized and have the watermark, every single one. So if I do control image again, you'll see 750. Still the right amount and also the watermark clearly displayed. So that's the beauty of having an action is if you create an action in, or record an action in Photoshop rather, so you see them over here, your recorded actions, you can then later apply them to as many files basically as your computer has the memory to open and Photoshop will automatically take whatever those, act those sets of actions are you created and apply it to all those images for you and it's a huge time saver. So if you ever work with images or you ever work in Photoshop, this is something you definitely would want to use.